I'm going to show you the best way to mix up a powder filler so you can use it to repair any holes in your walls. A powder filler is particularly good for filling deep holes. Unlike a pre-mixed filler, which needs to be added up in layers, allowing each one to dry before you apply the next, the job can be done a lot quicker. For this job, we're going to need some Polycell multi-purpose polyfiller powder, a filling knife, a mixing container, some sandpaper and a dust sheet. Before you start, make sure you've covered the floor with a dust sheet. In total, this job should take about 10 minutes, excluding drying time. Brush out the hole to get rid of any dust. This is really important, as it helps the filler stick more firmly as it dries. To get the right consistency, you need approximately two parts filler to one part water, gradually adding the filler into the water to avoid any lumps. How much you need will obviously depend on how big the crack or hole you're covering is. Stir it with a filling knife until you've got a smooth paste. You've got about 40 minutes after the filler is mixed where it should stay workable. So then just push it into the crack like this. Make sure you use enough so there's some overflow so you've completely filled the opening. Now, there is a trick to smoothing filler properly. Using a wet knife, make sure you pull from the center of the hole or crack outwards. Not from top to bottom or side to side as this will only pull the product away from the edge of the hole instead of pushing it inwards. Leave it to dry. This should take a couple of hours and you don't need to worry about it shrinking or cracking as it dries. That won't happen with this filler. Then all it needs is a quick sand over. And that's it, we're finished. Your walls are smooth and ready for decorating. So to quickly recap, step one, brush out the hole to get rid of the dust. Step two, mix the filler two parts powder to one part water. Add the filler to the water. Step three, fill the hole and smooth outwards from the center with a wet knife. Step four, leave to dry and sand smooth and you're done.